Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Your energy is Queen of Cups, Death card and the Two of Cups. Your person's energy is the Hierophant, the Five of Swords and the King of Swords. What can we expect for this connection? Page of Cups, the Star and the Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords, the perfect match for the King of Swords. Guys, major conversation coming up for some of you. You will have to decide if you want to save a relationship or if you want to let go of it. This can be even a marriage for some of you. We got the Hierophant. The Two of Cups is the chance to grow together with a special person for me. Some of you can still have feelings for your person, but the opportunity to save this relationship can be a whole different ball game for you. And the death card that we got works like a crossroads because there can be the opportunity to cut cords with the past. It's also possible to say, guys, that this relationship has been struggling a lot in the recent past. The five of swords that we got for me is an ego driven energy, but it can also be about fights, arguments, altercations, misunderstandings, even. And it's possible that the communication flow between you and your person stopped working a while ago. And now the two of you want to prevail on the other one when it comes to the chance to make a point or to prove a point. And the Hierophant that we got in this version also works like a like an attempt to work things out if we think about couple therapy. I am not sure that this can be possible because you in particular may have already achieved the realization that the connection is not able to stand the test of time anymore. And in the progression, we got to the page of cups, which can be an apology. You may receive it, especially if it's your person, the one that still wants to save the connection because maybe there is too much at stake. The star is an energy about a wish granted, but in this case, it works like a question. Is the connection still a wish for you? And the seven of cups is all about questions and doubts. And maybe even practical aspects about the opportunity to let go of this relationship, because there can be steps that some of you may have to follow and you have to be extremely sharp and clear. So the conversation or the set of conversations that you may have to share with your person may not be pleasant, guys. So let's see what we can get for you. The Death card, the Two of Cups combination of energies can even work as the opportunity to realize that we are not in love anymore with another person. And this can be a realization that can sting, but it can also be difficult to ignore it. It's also possible, guys, that in a situation like this one, there can be a kid involved in the picture. Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. Of course, uh, if that's the case, the kid can become the top priority because it's possible that some of you may have to evaluate the best course of action in order to protect a child. Here we go for you. Three of Pentacles. Energy about the opportunity to work things out, work together as well. It can be difficult. Six of Pentacles, no balance, one man up, one man down dynamic for me. It's a problem considering the Five of Swords, guys. Your person can be someone that has felt in control of the relationship for quite some time. Now it seems that some of you have made already the conscious decision to level up. So if you are not going to bow down anymore to what your partner can say when it comes to the strategy about the connection, if the two of you cannot find productive agreements, the connection is doomed. But your person, unfortunately, may even become a sore loser, guys, because of the Five of Swords. The Empress. Energy about development, a positive one, growth. 
I am also thinking about a mother in a situation like this one. If there is no positive development when it comes to this connection, because there are multiple issues that have been harming the situation at its core. Even if your person says that it's possible for the two of you to try to save the connection, your door can be closed. Because deep within, especially if you follow your heart, which can even be about your intuition, a gut feeling, you may realize that you can find a better situation if you make the conscious decision to leave this one behind for good. Your person may not make your life easy because it's possible that they do not want to lose the arrangement, especially if they have been in charge of it for quite some time. Let's see what we can get for them. The Hierophant can even be about a rigid approach, guys, if we think about the Major Arcana, maybe beliefs, and that's why the Five of Swords can basically become the energy of someone that constantly wants to prevail on someone else because they know better. And the King of Swords in this version is about someone that is also constantly pointing out things. But the Queen of Swords this time has something to say. And we know that the truth of the Queen can be one extremely different from what another person may desire to hear. Magician, they feel in charge. Your person feels in charge of the connection. It's like they have a vision and they basically take for granted that you share the same goal. Maybe it was the case in the past, uh, now not anymore. Ten of Wands, they will hold on to you and the connection. They do not want to let go. But the Ten of Wands for me is the last mile of a challenging and difficult situation. Guys, some of you have been extremely patient with your person. You have tried to meet them halfway. You didn't get much in return. And that's why the Empress energy in particular is an encouragement to avoid to settle for a losing agreement. Then, of course, if this is about a family, we are talking about a transition that can also see some type of separation, I mean, even a divorce, we can consider it. And so the process is not a joke. It's a serious one. And those of you that can resonate with the scenario will need a plan. Let's see what we can get for the progression. If we follow the Seven of Cups, some of you may hesitate to make the decision because you can think about multiple factors that can play a role in a situation like this one. And maybe you can face doubts about the opportunity to handle everything one step at a time, guys. You need a clear mind in a situation like this one. And you have to summon the Queen of Swords energy at the 100% because chances are your person, King of Swords, Magician, will face the conversations with a strategy already clear in their mind. It's like a chess game, you know? Your person knows what are the moves that they want to make in order to keep the connection alive. Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Guys, the Queen of Pentacles is extremely reasonable and agreeable. She is willing to find indeed productive agreements with those around her, but as we usually share in our readings, it's unfair to take advantage of her. The King of Wands can be the energy of your person if we think about someone that can still be passionate about you, but this energy can even become yours because at some point you can come up with not only a realization, but also a plan that can set you free from a struggling connection. And then you can stand up and you can move on 
and your person will be kind of forced to let go of the connection. We have the moon bottom of the smaller deck. This is an energy about the unknown because if you are thinking about the opportunity to let go of the connection, your person may not even think about that option. At the same time, we can say that there can be a fear factor because some of you may think about all the issues that can be involved in the process that can set you free, but you will have to ask yourself another question. Do you give more value to the freedom that you can get if you go through the transition that can allow you to release this connection, which is a struggling big time, or do you want to settle for a losing agreement? This is basically the crossroads, guys. And if we follow the death card, it's a big one. It's a big one, but if there is no more love in this connection, it can be difficult to fake it day after day. It can become a torture. And the Queen of Swords is an encouragement to be honest. Of course, think about a strategy. Do not be reckless, especially if you are dealing with a difficult partner. You can even seek support, help from people that can be on your side, but this connection is almost over, guys. Your person is going to fight to keep it alive, but it seems that some of you can be tired of the overall agreement, especially if you have been taken advantage of quite a lot along the connection. So choose your words carefully and then try your best to avoid the fights and the arguments, because if you want to leave this connection behind, it's pointless to fall for the same altercations that maybe you have already endured along the connection. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you in the new year. Bye.